This lesson will look at the formation of ions. If we take any atom on the periodic table, lithium is an example, draw its poor Rutherford diagram to demonstrate. Looking at this particular atom, it has three protons. It's got three electrons. We know that when we have equal numbers of protons and electrons, we're balancing the positive charge and the negative charge. Neutrons don't come into play because they have no charge. When these things are equal, the overall charge is neutral. All of our atoms are neutral. But what's interesting is when we start to see certain atoms and their behavior around other types of atoms. If we look at this particular group of metals, we find that they're highly reactive and they have a tendency to lose electrons. This includes hydrogen, which not technically a metal often behaves as one. If we look at our non-metals, these ones in particular are also very reactive and they have a tendency to gain electrons. Let's look at the formation of a positive ion. If we were to take hydrogen as our example, in its nucleus it's got one proton and it has one electron. Again, equal numbers of protons and electrons, therefore having a neutral charge. But what if we were to lose that electron? What if something was to pull it away? what would we end up having? We'd still have that proton in the nucleus, but with the lack of an electron, we now have a charge that overall is positive. In this case, one positive because we've lost one electron. We've now formed an ion. In this case, it's called hydronium, and it's positive. When we look at the formation of a negative ion, it's just the opposite. If we were to start with fluorine as an example, one of our halogens, very reactive, just needs one more electron and then it'll have the same electron configuration as the noble gas beside it. So if we take our fluoron, fluorine uh, atom and it was to actually gain an electron, it would then have an outer orbital filled. And in this case it would look like this and it's now got an overall charge that is negative because we now have 10 electrons only nine protons, so one more negative than we have positives. And we just call that fluorine negative one or fluorine negative. Well, if we were to bring those two things together because we know opposites attract, we would have a hydrogen and a fluorine together to form hydrogen fluoride.